Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. I have a very cool update for you. So the shop is officially off the grid. So you can see I've got all the lights on both in the chill area and in the shop and it's all running off of the battery bank and the EG4 12,000 XP behind me. So I'm just gonna go over a few things real quick on the board and uh, some of my cabling, and then we'll go into the shop. We'll see what it powers up, what it doesn't power up, any sort of issues. So far, I'm pretty happy, but let's take a look. All right, so I have a total of 24 light time, 24 volt, 100 amp hour batteries connected up. They are connected up to my uh, disconnects here with a uh, two gauge cable, then uh, two gauge up to the bus bars. I've got two watt connecting the two bus bars. And then I also have uh, two watt cables, one from each bus bar going all the way over and up to the 12,000 XP. So a couple of my subscribers had some suggestions and I definitely took them to heart. Uh, what I am going to do is I am going to replace all of these and I'm going to replace them and not use disconnects and just have uh, T-class um, fuses all the way across. And then it's just going to kind of connect up each one with T-class. My bus bars, I am going to upgrade those uh, again. I'm thinking I might actually make some. Uh, get a copper uh, copper plate that's nice and thick and build something that will handle at least a thousand uh, amps going through it. So still trying to figure that out, but that's uh, something that I'm thinking of. And then have my EG4 12,000 XP. And then from there, I'm running one aught aluminum uh, service cable and that's going all the way across up to my service panel. Now this is just temporary. Uh, I will use conduit and I'm gonna probably use a different cable, but for now that uh, cable is good for well over 100 amps, which is more than what my 12,000 XP can put out, even if it was all maxed out. All right, so all the lights are on in the shop. I'm drawing, and hopefully you can see this here. Let me zoom in here real quick. I'm drawing from my lights 1500 watts. That's just my lights coming in. You know, I've got all of these lights up here. So hopefully you can see in here and then also in the shop and everything that's going, that is 1500 watts. So quite a load just in lights, but this handles it quite well. No issues at all. And then uh, the batteries are at 52.4 volts, which uh, is plenty of power right now. It's probably around, I'd have to guess, 55, maybe 60%. All right. So what can this run? What can it run? So first thing, let's turn on a couple of heaters here. So we'll get these things cranked up. I'll put these on 1500 watts. They are on their own circuit. So they're nice and glowing. So we've got 1500 watts. Should be green around 3000 now. Oop, 4700. All right. And with this load at 4700, the fans just turned on. It's kind of quiet, not really that loud, so hopefully you all can hear that. But all of them are on. Warmish here, not hot, not that loud. So we've got all that on. So let's add on, say, the, um, the mini split next. Say it's really cold. I want to get some heat on. So I'm going to turn this on. We'll set this, say 85 degrees. Now this is going to kick on. It's going to start throwing out some heat. So next we're going to go over to the uh, shop. Looks like it's uh, about 6682 is what it stabilized at. So now we're going to go over to the shop. 
I've got a couple of car lifts. Here's one for the Mach 1, and then here's one for the uh, 2019 Mustang. So the next thing I'm going to fire up is going to be my air compressor. So I'll use my uh, big one. And you can see what happened. I just hit overload. So as you can see, everything is off. It is in a overload state right now. Try to zoom this in. So I've got a warning. It's like 28. And I've got to figure out how I clear this. I would guess probably going to have to turn off the output. Okay. Let's see if I turn it back on. That does it. Okay, so I turned off the output, turned it back on, poof, the lights are back on, and everything is coming back on. So, let's do this. Let's turn these heaters off. And let me turn off my mini split here. Okay. And let's hit that air compressor again. It's probably going to be fine now. So now the air compressor works perfect. And now I am going to lift this Mustang. Let's see if it works. Now, as you can see, now watch these lights real quick because I just noticed something. So it does lift the car up, no problem. But you can see that there's a voltage drop initially with uh, with lifting it up. So car's up in the air underneath it. Lifts it up just fine. And this lift, I am guessing this one would be fine as well. Let me just try it. Once again, no issues. So as long as I'm not running too many devices at once, uh, it will definitely be fine. But I think I'm going to have to get a second one because I think I'm going to be pulling a little bit too much past it if, say, I have the heaters running, I'm running a car lift, and say I have the uh, air compressor on at the same time. All right, let's see what else uh, that I have that I can check out. So let's check this mini split. So this one right here is a larger one. This is three ton, the one that was in the, um, uh, in the front part of the shop in the uh, chill area was just a two ton. So let's turn on this three ton. And once again, I've got all the lights on, so it's drawing, you know, 1,500 watts right now. So let's see how this does. And I'll start getting some heat pretty soon. Let me go back over here. And let's see where it's at. I wonder if I can run both mini splits at the same time. All right, so now I've got uh, both of the mini splits running and all of the lights in the shop. I'm drawing 5,600 watts, still climbing a little bit. It's like about 5,700 now. It's doing good. You'd hear the fans really not that loud. I'm actually surprised, and it's not a tone that's um, irritating or anything. It's actually pretty quiet, and it's not bad at all. All right, 6,000 watts. See if we got uh, heat pumping on in the shop.
and I do. You can hear it. I can definitely feel it. So all the lights on, too many splits, absolutely no issues whatsoever, which is pretty cool. You check the reading one more time. We're at 6,000 watts. I'm gonna see if I can try one of my lifts again real quick. Let's see if the lifts will work. I know that, that air compressor had kicked it off, but I wanna try a lift. All right, so I was able to do this lift. I'll just uh, put it back down. Let me try the one that's loaded with a car here real quick. See if I can lift this one up anymore. Yep, now that's impressive. That's impressive. All right. All the lights, too many splits, and a car lift. Very nice. All right, so the only thing that it had issues with was just um, that air compressor with too many other things on, which isn't that big of a deal. But I think I might have to get a second one for the increased load. So. This is a real world test. You guys have seen it. Everything you would typically need or would run in a shop. And um, yeah, pretty nice. Now it's at 6,200 watts. So that's about it. Thanks for watching Mike's Garage. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And now enjoy the second part of the video. All right, let's take a look. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mike's Garage. I have something absolutely hilarious. If you know my humor, you'll know why I'm laughing. So started to record uh, a video and stopped it because I saw my wife uh, coming up towards the shop. And um, as I'm recording this, saying I have my EG4 fully set up and I'm off the grid, well, the power's back off at the house. So... Uh, so I'm going to have to stop this for now. I am going to post this because this is hilarious. But uh, i got to go over to the house, uh, get everything fired up, get everything working over there. I guess uh, Duke Energy, the power is supposed to be out to 1030, but I have light in here. And more importantly, I have heat. Got to love it. So um, I'll be back in a bit. And uh, uh, yeah. This, this is hilarious. Maybe I'll put this at the end of uh, my, uh, my video that I'm recording for this, but uh, this is funny. All right, let me stop it here. I got to get the power back on at the house. I got to bring over some uh, power stations, probably bring over the Pecrons or something, and uh, or the Jackeries. I'll probably just take the Jackeries. That might be easier uh, since they're lighter. And I got to get the fridge turned on, uh, the deep freezer turned on, and then fire up the generator probably, get some heaters on. Yeah, all of that. Um, awesome. So I'll be back. Well, actually, this would be the end of the other video. So I'll be, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, talk to you in a bit.